The physical properties of carboxylic acids are the result of differences in electronegativity between oxygen and carbon and oxygen and hydrogen. They cause substantial polarity in this functional group. The differences in electronegativity result in the pull on the electrons of the bonds to shift it toward oxygen in each case, as I've shown with these arrows. And the pull of oxygen on the bonding electrons results in a partial negative charge on the oxygen and partial positive charge on the carbon and the hydrogen as I've shown here, which makes this functional group highly polar. The high polarity dictates that the melting points and boiling points will be elevated, and the solubilities of carboxylic acids are reduced in hydrocarbon solvents that have low polarity, and increased in water, which is highly polar. Take a look at some data that illustrate the dramatic differences that result from the polarity of the carboxyl group. I've put on this screen four structures, one that is a hydrocarbon, one that has a carbonyl group, one that has a hydroxyl group, and then one that has both the carbonyl group and the hydroxyl group, the carboxylic acid. I pick structures that have essentially identical molar mass, so the weights of these molecules don't play a role in dictating melting points, boiling points, or solubilities. The boiling points of these structures increase significantly as we go down the list. The hydrocarbon, which experiences only van der Waals forces holding the molecules together, has the lowest boiling point by far. The ketone has a carbonyl group, which accounts for both van der Waals forces and dipole-dipole interactions holding the molecules together to elevate the boiling points. The hydrogen bonding that is typical of alcohols significantly increases the boiling point over the ketone. And when you get to the carboxylic acid that has van der Waals forces, dipole-dipole interactions, and hydrogen bonding, dramatically increases the boiling point. This drawing illustrates why the boiling point is so high. The hydrogen of this hydroxyl group can hydrogen bond with the carbonyl oxygen of another molecule of carboxylic acid, while the hydrogen of the hydroxyl group in that molecule hydrogen bonds with the other carbonyl. This accounts for very strong intermolecular interactions between carboxyl molecules, both as solids and as liquids, that elevate the melting points and the boiling point. Let's take a look at the solubilities. This chart shows the water solubility in grams per 100 mL of each of these four structures. The hydrocarbon is insoluble. Hydrocarbons and water just don't like each other. The carbonyl of the ketone presents opportunities for hydrogen bonding with water, and there's substantial solubility. Similar hydrogen bonding between the alcohol and water molecules accounts for similar solubility of this alcohol in water. But when we get to the carboxylic acid, where we have both the carbonyl and the hydroxyl group attached to the same carbon, we see that the water solubility is labeled as miscible, meaning it's mixable in all proportions. The carboxylic acid is 100% soluble in water. The same kind of hydrogen bonding that we talked about for elevated boiling points and melting points is characteristic of carboxylic acids in water. As water molecules surround this polar functional group, hydrogen bonding with the carbonyl oxygen of the carboxyl group and with the hydrogen of the hydroxyl group of the carboxylic acid dramatically increase the solubility of carboxylic acids in water. So, the physical properties of carboxylic acids, melting points, boiling points, and solubilities are dictated and dominated by the very high polarity of this functional group.